Hi everybody, today I have the Nearstream AW APS-10. The first thing I noticed about the Nearstream is this smooth cloth speaker cover. It's very attractive with gray speckles on a black background. The back has more of a silicone feel. The sides are hard plastic and we have these rubberized feet for vibration reduction. There is a small nylon loop included. You can use this to carry it or attach a carabiner that you supply. It doesn't include one. Controls are fairly standard for a Bluetooth speaker. One you might not recognize is this multifunction button here. It is used to accept a call, reject a call, hang up the current call, and we have a mute button that is also used to interface with your voice assistant. I don't have the specs, but there is one active driver on the speaker, along with two passive radiators to help with the bass. There are only two ports on the Nearstream AW APS-10. One is the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input port, and the other is a USB-C port. Now you can use this for charging the speaker, of course, but you could also use this to interface with other devices. This can be an external speaker and microphone for an iPad a Android phone, your computer, a projector, almost anything. Nearstream supports TWS mode, but depending upon where you look, they also call it party mode. They say it supports multiple speakers, not two, multiple. And they say if you do a certain key combination, you go into broadcast mode. What does that mean? Is it, is it that mean it's not stereo if you're just you're broadcasting the signal, you're copying the signal across however many devices you have connected? I don't know. I only have the one to test, but it is kind of strange wording, so I thought I would bring that out. I tested the speaker in all of its configurations, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, Bluetooth, and wired USB. I'm not sure why you would use wired USB over Bluetooth unless you're trying to save battery power, maybe. They say you can use this with Zoom, uh, Google Meet, Skype, Microsoft Teams, whatever, any of those applications. Um, I'm not sure why you would do that over the built-in speakers, let's say of your iPad or computer or whatever, but... Um, but I, I suppose if you could set this in the middle of the table, it did work well. It sounded good. I didn't think it sounded good if you use this as a speakerphone. The, well, it sounded fine to me, but the person I was talking to said that she heard her own voice echo back to her like a few seconds later, and it was very distracting. There is a 32 milliamp hour battery in the Nearstream AW APS-10. It takes two hours to fully charge, and they say you'll get about 15 hours of playback. Normally those measurements are done at 50% volume. They, depending upon what you look at, they say that this is a 10 watt speaker, but I also saw in the manual, it says five watts. I don't know what to believe, but just based on my own ears, it, to me, it sounds like a five watt speaker. It's not that loud. How does the speaker sound? Up until about three quarter volume, it's going to sound fine for any kind of music but the bass isn't really super noticeable until you hit max volume. And you don't want to do that if you have a lot of high frequencies in your music. The high frequency will distort after three quarter volume. The speaker is kind of a unique position. If you want to turn it up to maximum volume, then you are better off listening to rap. It sounds fine for uh, E40, uh, Lil Jon, Kirko Bangs, things like that with a lot of thumping bass, a um, lot of mid-range, and nothing in the high frequencies. This is a decent speaker for that, but it's not very loud. So it's, I, I can't recommend this for rap unless you like listening to it quietly. No matter what you listen to, this speaker isn't going to be loud. If your music lives in the mid-range, it's going to sound louder than if it's got a lot of bass. But like I said, if, if you listen to a lot of high-frequency music, then you, you cannot turn this up to three-quarter volume or it just gets shrill and unpleasant. But if you keep it under three-quarter volume, it's going to sound fine. I'm not sure what the target market for this speaker is. 
I think it was primarily designed to be a conference room speaker, and it just happens to play music. It doesn't play it very loud, but it sounds well enough at reasonable volumes, and it's not waterproof, so you don't want to bring this outside. I think this is an office speaker, as in a desk speaker. How would I rate the Nearstream AW APS-10? I am going to classify this as an office speaker, something you would declare as a business expense. And as that category, I'm, okay. I don't know. <laughs> what a narrow category that is. Um, it's, it sounded good with Zoom. It sounded bad as a hands-free phone. I don't, I don't know why people use that feature, but some people really like the, the speakerphone aspect of a Bluetooth speaker. Um, it sounds good at reasonable volumes. It's not that loud. Um, it's, it, it is well built, but it's not waterproof. You wouldn't take this outdoors. I am going to give this a four out of five rating. Thanks for stopping by.